Greetings, I'm Carmenville Conway and welcome to the next episode of the Brown Skin Woman podcast and show for those who want to improve their quality of life starting with their natural hair. So today is Q&A Tuesday. So today I want to address a comment I received under a recent video I posted. It was of a client whose hair I was demonstrating as the water bounced off her hair due to buildup of oils and butters. It did appear as though her hair was low porosity when in fact it was just her hair repelling the water it needed because of buildup. So her comment read, I always thought that meant a person has low porosity hair. Now let's go to another example of a client whose hair I recently did in my salon. As you can see, she is getting her hair hydrated, but the water is not penetrating through her hair. I had her hair running underwater for three minutes and it still had not allowed the water to get through and soak the hair up. So a few instances can cause this from happening. One, hair that is chronically dehydrated, meaning it does not get enough water often. Another is hair that has buildup on it that is preventing the water from penetrating through the layers of the hair. Those type of products can be raw ingredients like oils and butters, butters being like shea butter, mango butter, and oils could be like coconut oil, jojoba oil, and so forth. There are also instances where low quality products that have a lot of these heavy ingredients in them within the first about four to five um, ingredients on the label, then they tend to have more of those ingredients in them and over time can also lead to buildup. So this particular client had a combination of using those ingredients and also not cleansing regularly and therefore needed to have a deep cleanse and moisture treatment with steam to try to help accelerate allowing her hair to accept water. And even then, it still took a little longer than this one visit for her to actually get her hair in you know, the healthy state that it needed to be where it could easily accept water. So that one rinse cycle in the salon was not enough. Over time, it did improve, but that only happens with consistent cleansing at least once a week and using simply a shampoo, a conditioner, and your styling product. No methods like LCO and LOC methods. If you don't know what those are, LOC is the liquid oil cream method where you layer those ingredients on top of your water or LCO, which is the liquid cream oil. And there are other different methods, including like deep hydration methods and such that you'll find on the internet. Those are all alternatives to science-based hair care, which is simply to cleanse weekly with a quality shampoo and quality conditioner. The water you put in your hair, hair today does not survive past a week from today. So you need to replenish it. And also keep in mind protective styles. Any style that allows you to put the hair away and therefore neglected for long periods of, of time and especially avoiding hydrating it weekly, then it causes more harm than good to the hair as well. Okay, curl friends, there you have it. Remember, you can find me across social media. You can submit your questions via those platforms, send via email, and more importantly, if you're enrolled in the Home Hair Care Academy's Clean and Simple course, you can ask any questions any time of day and you'll always get a direct answer specific to your needs. I look forward to connecting with you again soon.